welcome to circuit analysis playlist okay so now we are going to solve one university problem it's a december 2017 question and it is a six mark problem we are going to solve using the suitable methods okay so you see the question determine the current uh, of the current i delivered by the source okay so this is the given circuit so in the circuit uh, and the resistor 5 10 ohm 7 ohm 6 ohm 3 ohm 3 ohm are connected in some configuration so this is the battery 10 volt battery so the question is that because of this voltage source what is the current delivered okay so the current i we have to find out okay the total current supplied by this battery we have to derive okay so in order to solve this problem uh here the method is not mentioned okay uh that is a uh, use kvl uh, use kcl mes analysis nodal analysis the method is not mentioning so you may use uh, you may choose any method okay so now we are going to solve this problem in two thing okay so in two method we are going to solve this problem so first one here only the total current is uh, asked so that's why we are going to reduce this entire network into one total resistance rt after that uh, we can calculate this total current i using simply ohms law okay this is the one method using the network reduction technique okay then the alternate method we are going to use it is a mesh analysis method so using uh, mesh analysis so you just consider the three types of mesh current and you write uh, just write kvl equation and you convert into matrix and if you are solving we can get the answer that is a second method so in any way in any method if you are solving we will get the same answer only okay so the first method we are going to see using the circuit reduction technique we are going to reduce this network into one single resistance or single total resistance okay uh, so you see the network reduction concept so if you are reducing this network into uh, one single resistance you starts from the last point so you see uh, here this 3 ohm and 3 ohm how it is connected it is in connected in series okay so you see the circuit this last two 3 ohm resistor are connected in series. series means one end is connected another end is in different point so 3 and 3 connected in series means if two resistances are connected in series means you just add so 3 plus 3 we can get a 6 ohm okay then in the next diagram you just replace uh, this uh, two resistances by one 6 ohm resistor okay uh, then you see now you see the circuit here this last uh, 6 ohm and 6 ohm now it is uh, how it is connected the 6 and 6 ohm are connected in parallel combination so the parallel combination of uh, this 6 and 6 it is nothing but 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 okay so if you are calculating using calci we can get the answer is 3 ohm okay so in the next step you just replace this two resistances by a single resistance of 3 ohm okay and the remaining 7 10 5 you just as it is you just connect okay then in the next step you see this 7 ohm and 3 ohm how it is connected this 7 and 3 it is connected in series combination so series means you just add so 7 plus 3 is equal to we can get the answer is 10 okay then this two resistance you just replace with a single resistance 10 and already in the remaining 5 ohm and 10 ohm is available okay so now you see the thing this 10 ohm and 10 ohm how it is connected in parallel okay so in order to calculate uh, the parallel combination of this two resistances we may use the formula 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 so 100 divided by 20 we can get the answer is 5 ohm okay then this two resistances is replaced by the 5 ohm resistor already in our circuit one 5 ohm is available okay so now you see this two thing this 5 ohm and this 5 ohm how it is connected this two 5 ohm resistors are connected in series okay so 5 plus 5 so the answer we can get it as a 10 ohm okay so now you see the simple circuit the 10 volt battery with the total resistance value okay total resistance or equivalent resistance of our network is 10 ohms okay so we simplified 
uh, this uh, lengthy circuit into okay this lengthy circuit uh, uh, we can reduce this network into one single resistance circuit that is single resistance value equivalent resistance value as at 10 ohms okay so from that uh, using ohms law we can calculate the current supplied by this battery okay so in this loop only one voltage source and one resistance is available and the current flowing through this resistance is i so according to ohms law what is the current i the current i is nothing but it's a ratio of voltage supplied divided by the particular resistance value so 10 divided by 10 so we can get the one amps okay so we solved this problem in using the series parallel combination we solved okay this is a one type the next type we are going to solve the same problem using mess analysis okay so in mess analysis also we can get the same answer okay so already you know the procedure in order to solve the mess analysis so what is uh, what is the procedure in mess analysis first we have to identify how many messes are there in our given diagram so what does it mean by mess? The closed path that uh, does not contain any internal loop. It is said to be the mess. Okay, so here, this is the mess one. Okay, this one is, this is the mess one, and this is the mess two, and this is the mess three. So in our circuit, there are three messes are there. Okay, then uh, uh, in each mess, you have to mark the current direction. So you let us take a current flowing in the first messes, I1 current flowing in the second messes i2 current flowing in the third messes i3 okay and here in in the circuit only the a battery is available in a first mess only in second mess and third mess there are no batteries available so that's why all current direction you take it as a uh, clockwise okay since in the first loop the current it will emerge from the positive terminal of the battery so clockwise in remaining two, there are no voltage sources are available. So you take the current direction as clockwise. Okay. So I1, I2, I3. Okay. So we marked the current I1, I2, I3. Then uh, after uh, identifying the number of messes, what is the next step? We have to write KVL for each mess. Okay. So KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law, already you know, according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, in any closed path, the sum of voltage rise is equal to sum of voltage drop. Okay. So in this first loop, if you are looking here, uh, from the direction, uh, you see, this is the battery minus, this is plus. Okay. So the potential is minus to plus. So lower potential to higher potential. So it is nothing but a voltage rise. Okay. So 10 equal to, uh, if the current I1, okay, the current I1 is flowing in the first mess. So what is the voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor? 5 into I1. Okay. Then when we are coming here, the 10 ohm resistor is common for first loop and second loop. Okay. So in first loop, the current I1 is flowing from top to bottom. In second loop, the current is flowing from bottom to top. So what is the actual current flowing in the 10 ohm resistor? 10 into I1 minus I2. Okay. In previous problem, uh, we solved the I1 direction, I2 directions are same. So that's why that current is we taken as a I1 plus I2. But here, I1 is flowing from top to bottom. I2 is flowing from bottom to top. So that's why what is the current flowing through this 10 ohm resistor means I1 minus I2. So the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor is 10 into I1 minus I2. Okay, then you collect I1 term. So here 5 I1 is available, here 10 I1 is available. If you are adding, we can get 15 I1. Okay, uh, then uh, minus uh, 10 I2 equal to 10. So this is the equation number one. Okay, similarly, you just apply KVL to mess two. So this is the second mess. Okay, so you see the second mess. So in second mess, we have to apply the KVL equation. So if you are applying the KVL equation to this uh, second mess, you start from here. So 7 ohm uh, and the current is I2. So 7 into I2, it is a voltage drop. Then when we are coming here, uh, 6 ohm resistor and this 6 ohm resistor is common for loop 2 and loop 3. Okay, so this I2 current is flowing from this top to bottom and this I3 current is flowing from bottom to top. So that's why what is the current flowing through this 6 ohm resistor? 
I2 minus I3. Okay, so the drop across the 6 ohm resistor is 6 into I2 minus I3. Okay, then when we are coming here, okay, this 10 ohm resistor, the I2 current is flowing in bottom to top. I1 current is flowing from uh, top to bottom. So what is the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor now means 10 into I2 minus I1. Okay, when we are writing KVL equation for loop 2, this loop 2 current first minus loop 1 current. Okay, so 10 into I2 minus I1 equal to 0. Okay, similarly, you just collect I1 term, uh, only 1 I1 term minus 10 I1. Then I2 term, 7 I2, uh, this 6 I2 and 10 I2. You just add, we can get 23 I2. Okay, minus uh, only I3 is only 1 I3 term, 6 I3 equal to 0. This is a equation number 2. Okay, similarly, you just apply the KVL to loop 3. Okay, so for third loop, we are going to apply the KVL equation. So if you are writing the KVL equation, you see here, there is no voltage rise. All resistance only, so voltage drop. So 3 into I3 plus 3 into I3. And when we are coming here, 6. What is the current flowing through this 6 ohm resistor? I3 minus I2. Okay, so you see, 3I3 plus 3I3 plus 6 into I3 minus I2 equal to 0. Okay. Then if you are collecting, we can get a minus 6I2 plus 12I3 equal to 0. This is a equation number 3. Okay. So after writing the 3 KVL equation, uh, you just uh, uh, using the either substitution method or any other method, we can solve the answer. Okay. So here our aim is to uh, find out uh, only the current, this total current I. So according to this one, what is this total current I? This total current I is nothing but the loop current I1. Okay, so only we have to find out the current I1. Okay, that is the thing. So you just write, uh, you just convert this equation number one, equation number two, and equation number three into matrix form. Okay, so already you know the matrix form, how to write it. That uh, That is the first row is nothing but uh, the variable that is uh, the coefficient of I1, coefficient of I2 and the coefficient of I3. So 15 minus 10 and 0. Similarly, in second equation, the coefficient of minus I1 is minus 10, 23 minus 6. So you just write, then the coefficient of uh, uh, I1, I2, I3 in third equation is 0, minus 6 and 12. Okay, into I1, I2, I3 equal to, uh, what is the constant in first equation? 10. What is the constant in second equation? Zero. What is the constant in third equation? Zero. So 10, zero, zero. Okay. Then after that, uh, you just find the determinant value. Okay. So this, uh, this three by three matrix determinant we have to find. Okay. So already you know the procedure, how to calculate the determinant. So 15 into this answer determinant and uh, minus of minus plus 10 into you multiply these two things and these two things then plus zero. So if you are calculating, we may get the answer is 2400. Okay, then we have to find out del I1. What is del I1? In this uh, constant mat resistant matrix, you just replace this first column by this constant value. Okay, so you replace this value by 10, 0, 0 and the remaining asset is, so you just calculate the determinant value. That value is also 2400, okay. So from that, the current I1 is nothing but del I1 divided by del. So 2400 divided by 2400, we can get the one amps, okay. So this I1 is nothing but, so this mess current I1. So you see the diagram uh, here, this mess current I1 is nothing but the current supplied by this battery I, okay. So this I and this I1 is same in this circuit. So this I1 is nothing but I, which is equal to one amps. Okay, so the same answer we can get in from the network reduction method also. Okay, so you can choose uh, any method. So when compared to this mess analysis, this network reduction analysis is very easy to calculate uh, this type of problem. Okay, so if the method is not mentioning, you may use any method. Okay, so this is a uh, December 2017 problem. Okay, 17 problem. So similar to this, 
in the next video we are going to solve uh, some other important anna university problem using mes analysis okay so thanks for watching my channel and if you want to learn uh, all videos in circuit analysis using kirchhoff's current law voltage law ohms law network reduction problems uh, and so on so in my channel there is a separate playlist is created for this subject in the name circuit analysis so in that all videos are available in order you can see or i will give link for those videos in the description box you can refer it okay so thank you we will meet in the next video